The Bill and Kelly Show is brought to you by Sci-Fi Donuts Ray's Movers and Storage, Inc. and Tiger Plumbing. Oh, okay. Hello, welcome to the Bill and Kelly Show, coming to you from Wild Rose Brewery in Griffith. With us today is Charles William. And uh, he is the, um, you started up a company called CW Consulting, Absolutely. right? Of course, on the other side, we have the infamous Kelly Rosala, or the one and only Kelly Rosala, the what beautiful am I? Kelly what Rosala. Am I? <laughs> So, well, thank you for joining us today. Yes. Thank you for having me. We're excited. So, um, why don't you uh, tell us a bit about yourself, where sure. you came from, uh, and uh, uh, how you came to start up CW Consulting. Absolutely. So, um, so I'm actually, I was born in Chicago, uh, but moved here to the region when I was maybe three. And so I grew up in Hammond. I received all my education in Hammond. Um, in fact, went to all Hammond schools, so Irving, Spohn, Clark, um, and then after that, went to uh, Purdue, graduated from Purdue, and um, you know, I started my field, or my time in education in 2006, uh, so I've been working through there, and in fact, I've moved, um, only moved to Sherville, I've been living in Sherville for maybe about the last five years, um, but I've lived my entire life in Lake County, essentially. Mm. Um, You're a region rat. I am. I am. <laughs> a um, and, and, and so I've been in education now for almost almost 15 years. Um, so I, I started off as a teacher. Uh, I became a, a mentor teacher under an evaluation system that they had. Um, and then I moved districts. And then when I was there, I was a lead teacher, became an assist principal, then the principal. And then I moved out to Chicago, where I am now. And I've been a principal for five years now. This is year number five. Oh. And is that an elementary school, or is it a... Yeah, so it is, uh, I'm at a K-8 through school, so I, I was mentioning oh. before that I have uh, always worked with middle school, mm -hmm. regardless if I've done middle school, oh. high school, or K-8. Lord, through love you. <laughs> it, it takes special people to work with middle school. Yes, in fact, I often said that our middle school teachers are most underpaid, underappreciated, for what they go through, oh, it's yeah, a it's a trying time. <laughs> it's it's a an trying interesting time. Room. Full of hormones is what it oh, is. It, yes. As one teacher said, there there's like uh, thirty mini hormone bombs ready to explode at any at given any moment. moment. <laughs> yes. And so, yeah, um, yeah, walking the hallways was definitely interesting. They moved my office there, and I I think it was to punish me for some reason. <laughs> no, but uh, they're great kids, and they I, are great kids. And, and the teachers there were absolutely awesome. So, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so, um, so, so you have all this background as um, as teacher and uh, and an administrator, which I, I know an administrator that when you're at the helm of a school, mm -hmm. you have to find what and, and try to encourage the teachers to be their best and also make sure that they're getting the best out of the kids. Absolutely. And so uh, I could understand how you got into consulting easily because it, it is, it, uh, I mean, it's one, and I tell people, um, I've worked for in the commercial industry then went into education and it was probably one of the most trying parts of my career because of the challenges. I mean, and, and the state of Indiana and the government didn't make it easy either, uh, throwing all these mandates on. And you still have to do, make sure the kids are getting educated. So tell us a bit about what what your hopes for are with CW Consulting and how you could transfer those talents over and maybe help people out. Yeah, so, well, and you're absolutely right. So I always tell people, right, I think in education now, they're expecting you to continuously do more with, with increasingly less, right? Um, and so part of my job literally is to train my teachers, uh, you know, with limited budgets, 
Um, I am the person who, on a weekly basis, uh, I, I'll meet with teachers, train my teachers. Uh, during the summer, I'll train my teachers. Um, and, and in order for me to stay current, I'm always at conferences, I'm presenting at conferences. Um, and that's actually what kind of launched this. Somebody said, hey, you know, you, you've done a fantastic job. Can you come out and do it for us? And I was like, well, this is kind of what I do anyway, right? And, and this thing was kind of born. Um, and, and so it's my hope right now is that, you know, when I was a teacher, I, I had fantastic results in the classroom. And I said, you know, I want to be able to make this bigger, right? When you're, when you're working with 30 kids, I'm like, okay, well, how, how about bigger? So I eventually moved into administration where I was an assistant principal. Um, and working with just middle school students, um, still getting fantastic results. And I said, well, uh, prompting from my current principal, well, then principal, um, you know, I, I became a principal. My whole goal was I want to take these ideas, philosophies, the things that I was doing in my own classroom and apply it to an entire building. So that way that building can experience success. Um, and so what I'm seeing now is the opportunity to even take that beyond my building. Um, and so you're right, education is extremely difficult. Right? We, we are consistently receiving mandates, expectations without resources, and just kind of saying, hey, make this thing happen. And then we're kind of figuring out how to do that. Um, and so if I can share with fellow educators or even just other organizations to say, hey, here are some success stories, here are some tips and strategies and processes um, so that they can be successful, then, then I'll be a happy person. So, um, what type of organizations do you think, like sales organizations, or...? I, I think a little bit of both, right? So my forte is education, right? I, I, when, if you're looking at teaching strategies, pedagogy, um, materials, curriculum, I mean, that I, I know that stuff like the back of my hand, right? But a lot of those skills transfer into other areas, right? So I was in sales for a while, right? And so when you talk about understanding your clients, um, just like you would understand students, right? Working on your own delivery and your persona, right? Having those targets, um, and especially backward design, right? Kind of figuring out where do I want to be, and then planning backwards. I think a lot of times people say, okay, well, this I'm going to start working with no end goal in sight. Um, and so I think when you get down to the foundation, right? All organizations or most organizations are very, very similar in that capacity. So, um, what? So, if you get a client, uh, what do you start out with? Um, I mean, you you sit and have like a session with them, try to figure out what yeah. they do, and and then um, um, and where do you, what's your plan for, so, for working with a, like, for instance, a company, a commercial company? Absolutely. So, I think one of the things I, I, I put out there is that I, what I would like to think is different is that we tailor it to their needs. Right. So, I think very much when we start, we do something very similar to this. Let me get to know you, right? Kind of just talk, see your personality, what are your hopes, dreams, wishes, you know, where do you want your company to be, right? Um, I think that a lot of times if you just dive in and say, well, this is what you're doing wrong, that's what you're doing wrong, it's like, well, wait a second, right? So I want to get to know the, the people behind the company, right? Um, and once we're able to kind of pinpoint what is it that I want to do, what is it that I'm doing, what are some issues that we've been having, we can kind of start putting all that together and identifying those pitfalls. Right, and, and so we actually design that together, and part of what I talk about is unlocking the potential. So, okay, I'm not going to be the one doing the work, right? I, I'm getting you there, but let's kind of figure out what areas need some help, and then how can I help you get better in those areas? Um, and then, of course, the results kind of come naturally after that once we figure out how to fill in those gaps. Yeah. Um, one of the things do you feel like in working with organizations, and specifically in, um, where you came from, education? One of the primary problems that people need help with is communication. Oh, absolutely. Inner department communication. Um, you know, I, I know when I, I in back in my world, it used to be that in middle school they had teams mm -hmm. where they had the social studies teacher, the math teacher, science all on a team, and they would meet in these team meetings. And it was absolutely key that you know they knew how to communicate. So I could see that. And uh, now trying to transfer that over into the commercial world, where I mean, the sense of urgency necessarily isn't there, and they, but you still have all these communication faults. So I, can you talk us through like what maybe some of your strategies for communication uh, and, and how to help companies along that are having a problem? Absolutely. I, I think one of the biggest things is getting back to the basics of communication, right? We, we live in a digital world. Yeah. So everything is either text messages or emails or, you know, whatever it is. And 
I don't know if you've ever been in that situation, but you've read a text message or an email, and you immediately apply whatever it is that you're feeling to that email, right? Exactly. So all those nonverbal cues are gone, right? And so you're like, oh, they're upset with me. In reality, they're just wanting to talk to you. Um, and so I think coming back to those basics and saying, sit down and talk to somebody face to face. Right? I understand the importance of documents and communication, whether it's through emails or memos, whatever it may be, to say I have a paper trail. But definitely talking to somebody. So that's one of the things I know I always try to do is I bring people into my office and we sit down and we talk. Right? Um, the other side of that is understanding those dynamics. Right? And so if you are, um, for example, a boss, right? When you talk about those nonverbal communication skills, right? Sitting across the desk from somebody, right? You, you kind of divide you know, your, your, your situated power. Right? So oftentimes I will sit, you know, if we're at a round table, uh, you know, or, conference table I, I won't sit at the head of the table with my with my staff um, you know I'll sit next to them if we're having a meeting in my office um, it's those little things and I think it's things that people don't always think about to say hey you know we're, we're on the same team right I, we may have different positions right we may have different responsibilities but in the end we're on the same team and we're trying to get to the same goal exactly. and I tell my people all the time you know if you're successful then I'm successful but I can't be successful without you right Right. Team building and communication. Absolutely. So. And one thing, as an administrator, you not only have to work with the teachers, but you're working with the students. With the students. You're working with the parents. parents you're working with the, the community. school board, the Absolutely. you know councilmen and aldermen, and the community itself. So you have to learn different ways to communicate with different people based on who they are where they're coming from Absolutely. and everything. Plus, I've had the, the, the honor of working with Charles <laughs> in theater. So I know that your communication skills are amazing because that's something required to, Absolutely. you know, you have to get your, the emotions and everything have to go out there and, and change how people feel just with your words and your looks. And that's it. That theater is person to person. Absolutely. And it's so different than the computers right, and everything the else is going. Yeah. So I can see where your background would just be so amazing for something like this. So, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I, we've often joked that some of my best teachers have experience or some type of background in the arts. Right? Exactly. Because you know then how to present yourself. Um, you know, as you said, you know, as you're working with those different organizations, right, um, you know, oftentimes I've had parents who have come in and they're very angry. And sometimes communicating isn't communicating, right? Oftentimes, and I actually just had a conversation with a student, you know, sometimes they just need to communicate. And all you're doing is processing it, taking it in, and allowing that to come out, right? Um, you know, I've had parents who do that, just dump on me, you know, and then they like, thank you, and they leave it. Like, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Although I've, do, I've said absolutely nothing. Well, you know, uh, Kelly and I have an issue probably going to help us with um, every time we go somewhere, it's all about Kelly. We walk in the room, it's, oh, Kelly. And Bill, you're like, hey, I'm here. So, can, can you help us out there? Or do you think it's a lost cause? Oh, you know, I, I, I think, you know, she just radiates that, right? She, she, oh, she's she radiates, all right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, it, you know, I think on the other side of that, right, and it's not just the person doing the communicating, right, as we work with teams, right, it's kind of being comfortable, right, understanding this this is who I am, this is my, and, and, and not trying to be somebody or something that you're not, and saying that this is, this is who so I am. You're you saying are your that, own thing, like you So you're say. saying that I should just sit back and accept that she's going to be the queen. If that's your role, I mean, I've had to do the same in my marriage. That's your role, dear. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll move on. Okay. We may need some counseling. We, yeah, sure. yeah that, I, marriage counseling is not my area. Yeah, that's not your thing. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not sure it's so much marriage counseling is just my ego is taking it every time we go anywhere. Oh, Kelly, how are you doing? I'm saying uh, I'm here too. You know. Who cares? It's Kelly. It's yeah. all about Kelly. You're in my territory in this site. You, you were a Porter County guy for a long time. I'm a Lake County girl. You well, I don't think County. that matters. Because <laughs> when we're in Michigan City, it's, oh, Kelly. Oh, well, you know okay. what I'm saying, pal? You it's know, like, some people just have an issue. And some people are. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, anyway, where were we at? What were you here for? And, uh, no. <laughs> CW, that's what yes. we're here for. Yes. CW. CW Consulting. That's right. So, um, what are the things do you think you can bring? Uh, you know, one thing about um, team building, it's a lot of exercises. Absolutely. Uh, 
I, do you think you provide some things like uh, go in and have like a uh, oh, what do they call it? Um, take people out of their work environment and set them aside and work on team building? So I, I think that's where it comes back to having those conversations. You get to know your teams, right? Um, there are some teams with individuals who are a little more hammy who say, hey, I, I'll get up and perform and do these things, right? And you have other people on those teams who are like, no, absolutely not, right? And then you're kind of defeating the purpose. Um, you know, so today even, I, I exactly today, I, I did a team building uh, with my staff. And it was something simple. It was a scavenger hunt with each other, and it was just getting to know each other. And at first, they were like, we've worked all year together and I said you'd be surprised about what you didn't know about each other um, and so it was really interesting they, they went around I gave them 10 minutes and, and they did learn and so at the end we kind of talked about it and they said I had no idea that you know this person was here 11 years did you know so-and-so has seven siblings and you know it's those little things that because we know each other on a professional level right we don't always know each other on a personal level um, and once you start to build those little bonds it, it it helps strengthen the workplace. And so, you know, there are some things, right? You, you go out and you do, oh, we're going to do rope building and, you know, safe falls and all that stuff. And if it works, it works, right? But I, I think it's getting to know your organization, getting to know what it is that you're trying to do, and then and crafting it to, to that. So it's like Kelly actually acknowledging that I exist when we go to places. Yeah, I guess. Something you know, like it's a team building exercise. Uh, enough of that. We'll, we'll <laughs> seek marriage counseling or something. Um, so, what? How? I mean, uh, how are you going out marketing yourself? I mean, do you, many people know about this yet, or? So it, it's starting to spread. Um, so I am doing a bunch of just cold calling. Um, so in fact, what I'm doing is just blasting out emails to uh, school districts, regional offices. Um, in fact. One of the first people who booked me, um, now they're sharing. So it's even spreading by word of mouth. So I'm receiving emails and saying, That's hey. Some of the best ways. Absol absolutely. So they're saying, hey, you know, my friend booked you. You know, I I'm interested as well. Um, you know, I was mentioning to uh, Callie that I I'm part of CPS. And so apparently word has gotten out in CPS. And so as I we talked about it even today during the team building, some of my mm. staff were surprised. And they said, well, you know, so-and-so told me because they heard about it at a meeting in CPS. And I haven't even launched this to CPS. <laughs> um, you know, so it's just kind of putting it out there, you know, via LinkedIn and everywhere else. And just, it, I think my biggest one will, once I start doing conferences, um, I'm, I'm going to be at two conferences this summer, one in St. Louis and one in Vegas. And so using those as platforms to, uh, you know, to jumpstart this as well. Sure. Now, is there a website or a Facebook there is. page or something that people can go to to Absolutely. find out more information? Um, so cwconsultingservice.com. Uh, um, it's really simple. Uh, and then as well as if you find me on LinkedIn, just looking my name up, you, you'll see the connection there as well. Um, so those are the two. I, I've considered doing phone numbers and all those. Um, but to be honest, in this day and age, right, if you get a phone number that you don't recognize, yeah, I'm not answering answer. it. So yeah. um, right now I'm sticking to, you know, LinkedIn and the website. Perfect. Well, great. Well, I, man, I tell you, that, I, and I, I will say you are a very dynamic speaker. Oh, well, thank you. Very impressive communication skills. And, um, and I also know his family, <laughs> so I can yes. tell you he's a really good guy. It's not just some guy coming on here. No, I can say from personal experience how awesome he is. He has an amazing mom, and I love her too. <laughs> thank and, you. Thank you know, you. his family's awesome. So. Yeah, he's a good having, guy. An, having good moms is... Hey, having a good up. mom and a good family, and, and you know, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Well, great. Is there anything else you want to uh, share with, with our us? audiences. Any? You know, I, I think it's, um, you know... First of all, I just want to say thank you for having me Absolutely. as part of the show. And, you know, for anybody who's listening, you know, if, you, if you're looking for somebody who, who can come in, work with you, and tailor uh, solutions for you, um, you know, it might be new, it might be something different, but I guarantee you that you're going to be happy with the results. Absolutely. There you go. Well, uh, by all means, look them up at CW Consulting. And... Um, and uh, boy, we appreciate you coming out and having a beer with us and Thanks sitting down and talking about your company. And it's been a pleasure. And your beautiful I, wife, Lorena, who's over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, she, huh? she, she goes off camera. Yeah.
do I don't the know same why. problem gorgeous. when you guys go in the room. Like, so you know what? We, we we have a similar problem. So she she's beautiful. So people just focus in on her, and I, I have this big personality that's like, hey, and they're like, yeah, no, we don't want to look at you. We <laughs> so well, see, I'm neither good looking or very big personality. So that's probably the problem, right? You got beauty and uh, big beauty and charm, right? personality. Yeah, that's it. Okay, enough of this. But I think someone out there is going to start a whole new sitcom based there, upon there our go. relationship. There you go. As long yeah. as you get some royalties. Residuals, you know? yeah. No, they'll probably all go towards her. <laughs> the dynamic one. Because they're yeah. smart. Well, with that, uh, we appreciate you coming back on and sharing uh, your new business with us. And, Thank you. Uh, some of the things that you can offer companies or uh, teachers, administrators. Absolutely. Uh, so it sounds great. Uh, we wish you the best. And, and we'll be posting all the information up there for you if you need to get in touch with him and that's not working for you or, or you misplaced something, let us know. Bill and Callie, you know where we are. There you go. And as always, we wish you have a great week and a great weekend. Absolutely. Uh, have some rain coming, but who cares? That's Just right. get out there and have a Mother's good time. Day yes, and happy Mother's Day. Day. Happy oh, Mother's yes. Day. Mother's Day. Yes. Yes. Don't, don't forget mother. the moms. Oh, right. my goodness. <laughs> I, and with that, we wish you all a great week and a great weekend. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye. The Bill and Kelly Show is brought to you by Sci-Fi Donuts Raise Movers and Storage, Inc. And Tiger Plumbing